Hello everyone, Rabbi Rosen here. I hope all is well with you. And it's my joy to wish you not only a Shabbat Shalom, of course, but also a very bright and happy Hanukkah. We could use one. Some years ago, an enterprising Jewish businessman in the small Alabama community of Dothan looked around and saw that the Jewish community in that town was dwindling. He was worried, but he came up with a very enterprising solution. He was prepared to pay $50,000 to any Jewish family prepared to relocate in Dothan for at least five years. And indeed, a number took him up on the offer. The city of Dothan takes its name from the biblical town that is featured in this week's Torah portion, the town of Dothan, which has a very important part of our story. Joseph leaves his father's home and is looking for his brothers. Along the way, he encounters in Dotan a person, an Ish, an anonymous individual, and he asks, have you seen my brothers? And the man answers, yes, I have, and directs Joseph to precisely the place where he can find them. We never hear from this man again. He remains anonymous, and he disappears from the biblical scene. The point of the story, though, seems to be a very powerful one. We in our lives, I'm sure, have all encountered individuals that have played a very small role. Perhaps we never even knew somebody's name, but yet they did something for us that made all the difference in our lives. And the history of the world is such that that indeed is the case as well. In the Torah itself, were it not for the encounter that Joseph has with this anonymous person, the rest of the story might never have unfolded. He might never have gone to Egypt by way of having been sold by his brothers. He might never have risen to the highest levels of Egyptian power, second only to Pharaoh. The settling of the Israelites in Egypt, the exodus from Egypt, the movement forward to Sinai and all the rest, it may never have happened had Joseph not had this encounter in Dotan with this individual who remains anonymous to us all. And I wonder, and our tradition wonders, how often is it the case that we ourselves feel ourselves to be, well, rather anonymous in life? We're just one small individual. What difference could we possibly make? But the importance of that story and the importance of our tradition is we always make a difference. We always have the power to influence the outcome for good in all that we do our dollars in contributions, our efforts in volunteer activities, our presence in prayer circles, all of these experiences touch the lives of others. They make all the difference in the world. For Hanukkah, the light of a single candle has the power to banish darkness and despair and fear. We are that candle. We kindle a flame of hope whenever we are prepared to step into the breach and make that difference though we might be small in number. So let's continue to do that. Let's value the contribution we have to make to a stronger Jewish world, to a stronger community, to a more secure and safe Israel, to all that matters in life. Shabbat Shalom, and again, a very bright and happy Hanukkah.